Well, here we are on the home stretch. Let me get rid of that annoying glare. I'm going to set this under here. There we go. Um, here we have it. This is my tally light. This is my first build. This will be tally light number one or can be tally light number four because they are both wired identical. Same way for tally light number two and tally light number five. They get wired the same. And tally light number three, you've guessed it, and tally light six are wired the same. Um, I used a red and I used a yellow. The yellow is the preview. The red is live. And the reason I went with yellow, I decided to go with yellow because VMix uses yellow for preview and red for, or actually VMix uses green for live and red is kind of the standard. I have a green on the back. I've got the Cat5 jack, the RJ45 jack here, so you can use Cat5. Um, that takes care of your distance issues. And the hot shoe mount um, that I have here. And you can tighten that down, slide that on a hot shoe. Let me take and I, I think it turned out fairly nice. I'm happy with it. Looks pretty good. Um... Before I, before I plug it in and show it to you, I'll talk about the fact that I didn't use Velcro up here like I first initially said I would. I, I've decided to do something different with that. Let me show you that. Um, I'm going to cut here to the desktop. As I've cut to the desktop, I will take you to what I ordered. I got five of these brackets, and I figured I would put... Um, <coughs> Because my webcams don't have hot shoes on them, I only have one camera that actually has a hot shoe on it. Um, one video camera, my good one, has a hot shoe on it. Uh, my webcams, I use the poles anyhow, the, the light stands to hold them up. I put these brackets on and went to the brackets to go with these brackets. And these, bra these brackets just cost $4. They're not real expensive. I got five of them. And then I got these cold shoe mount bracket adapters and I'll put those on and then that way I can just slide straight to just slide my hot shoe mount right in that that mount right there I just slide it right in there and then tighten this down on it and we're good to go and it'll look a lot more professional and it was only total five dollars more per light so that's not bad um let me plug this in then and, and give you show you show that to you. After telling you in the other videos about making my own Cat Fives, what did I do? But I went downstairs and grabbed one of the store bought ones that I have. Um, I do make them, uh, but I also have some that I bought. You get them with different things. So I've just plugged it in, and then when I turn it around, you see that the preview lights in, and of course that's. Camera one is in preview because I'm using my desktop right mode right now. So let me cut to camera one and see what it does. And there you have it. Camera one is now uh, the red light is on and the green light is on as well. So this faces the camera operator. He knows that or she um, knows that their camera is is live. And then the person who is looking at the camera looking into the camera knows that there which camera look to look at that's live and then I like having the preview because it lets and you can see it over here it lets the person looking into the camera know that that camera could be going live next so there there it is and I'll unplug it oh um, this is the control box all finished um, works works quite nicely and um, what I have is I'm going straight from the control box to this camera right here. If I had my other um, cameras together, I would have to use I'd have to use this, and I would run from my control box to this to the number one here. Then I put camera one, two, and three in here. If I wanted a fourth camera, I actually wouldn't need another box. I would just run camera four straight from here. Uh, but if I want camera 5 and 6, then I'll need another box, and I would run from here to the other box like this, then into camera 1, then I would put 4, 5, and 6 in there. And then this would split the signals into the right places. 
So that's how I, I dealt with that. I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to set this aside out of the way and we're going to talk about um, how I made this box. So um, <clears throat> here's a I'll just set this right here and here's a box um, that I have the first thing I'll point out to you is is that these are um, these little notches you do not want to work from this side these little notches are what you use to take the to be able to put take your screwdriver like this and then pop the lid off so you need those you'll want to work from the other side which is what I did when you put in the RJ45 so I'll put that there put it like that so you don't want to cut away from this side you want to cut away from the side where you have where it's all straight like that and so to, to get your uh, RJ45 in you're going to want to take your uh, hacksaw blade and what I did um, is I just laid this on here like this. this is how you typically do it not don't have to be real fancy you just eyeball it get it relatively in the center and take your sharpie um, marks quite fine on these your sharpie marker it's a permanent marker and I just mark, mark my lines take my hacksaw blade and start cutting down I cut the outer side edges and then I do several cuts and then just push it if you just push it in, it'll snap off um, the other thing you got to do is you can see it there there is a standout right there I took my my um, rotor tool my Dremel tool and I cut, it has a cut off on it and I just cut that off um, you can you can also take that out with a drill bit um, I already tried it on the other ones just be careful not to go through this this one you don't want to go through so it is a big deal if you go through it uh, you don't want extra holes in this so you know just take it down close maybe take some sandpaper sand it off if you cut out the, this you can get in there and sand it off or file it down and take it off got to do the same thing on this got to take cut the lip for this so that this can fit fit in there and you got to take this stand out off as well so got the, once you have that done then this gets put in um, you super glue that in I super glue it on on here I, I all this I put super glue and then there's a lip that goes all the way around and I super glue put super glue on that and then I super glue that down um, slide that in and super glue it down and so you have that um, I don't think I told you about for the quarter inch uh, to put this on you you want to take you want to get get in the center find it find the center of this um, find the center of this and drill a quarter inch hole through then you'll get a quarter 20 nut because that's what the threads are for these these are um, quarter 20 anything to do with with cameras it's quarter 20 so these nuts are quarter 20 and um, so you, you you'll get a nut there and you just push this through the hole and screw it into the nut then you take this and tighten it up against this and that's how you that's how you mount this on not a big deal not rocket science um, works quite nicely too um, for the lights for the lights themselves what I did um, you'll notice that everything is kind of on this end and there's a reason for that because you got got to have room for that to be there um, so I what I did is I went in and I drilled these two holes first I did it on um, right here kind of came through drilled those two holes um, I put this in and then that way I could see and I used my drill press and just drilled out the two holes for that turned it upside down put the lid put, uh, I put the lid on it turned it back took my sharpie marked where the holes were pulled the lid off I could see my marks and I drilled in between them this green light this green light is actually it's worked out to be between the yellow light and the red light on this side um, so it's actually it's it's located between I'm not sure if you can see yeah sort of but you can tell it's it's in between those two actually um, that's how I worked it out and so that's how you you drill out for that that prepares the box now 
The size drill bit that I use for this is a 732nd drill bit. The um, <laughs> The LEDs, they're actually called diodes, but the LEDs are five millimeters and a seven thirty second drill bit will let you press, you know, it, it, it's a tight fit and you want it to be tight. And so you can press that in and it's, it's kind of a hard press and you press it in, but it stays and it's a nice snug fit. Um, the LEDs have a little lip on the back of them, so you can't push it all the way through, but um, you can push it down to that lip and uh, it you know, lip prevents it from being pushed all the way through. Um, so that's how you prepare the box, and it looks nice, I think. Um, I'm, I'm certainly pleased with it. Um, I'll set that there. Talk about these, I'm gonna talk about wiring this up. Now, how to wire it. It's not really complicated to wire, although because it's close quarters, it's frustrating to wire. Anyhow. To know what is the positive and the negative on these, the positive is always a little bit longer, at least when you get started. Um, and I say that because I do some changing to this um, as we go. But uh, on, on these, the positive is the longer one, the negative is the, um, the shorter pin, okay, coming off these diodes, off the solid ED. So you need to know that. Um, the, the other thing that I did and I had one line here. Here we go. I got my resistors. These are those uh, quarter watt resistors that I told you to order on the other video. And I take the resistors and I cut on one side. I leave. I cut off and just leave about a quarter, maybe a quarter of an inch here. Not not a lot. Cut it off about there. I'll, I'll take my um, wire cutters and just cut that off. And the reason I do that. Then I take. I go back to my, I get out my, my LEDs. I use a red, a yellow, and a green one, obviously. We've talked about that. I take the positive, and I actually cut the positive on, on this. I take the positive, let's see, if I put something dark back there, maybe that'll help. Is that better? Yeah. Um, I take the positive, and I cut it off about there. And um, I make it, I shorten it up. And part of the reason is because I don't have a lot of space here, a lot of thickness. And as you can see, um, these are way, go way past it. So I, I cut it off, I, and then I, I cut this one down so that I have it nice and short as well. And then I solder the um, resistors onto the positive. And then I have, and it looks like this, when I get done soldering it, this is what it looks like. This will eventually get cut off when I actually put it in, but, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting um, to actually when I start soldering all the wires together before I do the cutting. Um, and it's easier for me to know the, the negatives and the positives. So you do that with all of your LEDs. you got to put the resistors on there. If you don't put the resistors on there, you'll burn out these LEDs in no time at all. Um, the, the resistors are necessary. So you solder on, cut the, I cut down the positives, and then I solder on the LEDs. And then the way to wire these really not difficult it's really not a uh, uh, complex um, to wire these it just uh, the, the grounds are always the same uh, for me I basically had this going this way um, my my red and my yellow are on one side my green is on the other side so they're kind of at opposite ends but what you have is you take these negatives that's the that's the short ones again the side the, where there's no resistor the side with the resistors a positive and no resistor now once you have the resistors soldered on those are the negatives you take the negatives and what you want to do is that all three negatives get um they actually get soldered to your brown wire okay with well, your ground wire because the negatives are the ground and so you solder them to your ground so you all three negatives get soldered to the ground and then on your on your um jack here you you come to you come to this one this is the brown you come to this very this very last well, my glare is bad tonight but anyhow you come to this very last the last one you punch the brown into there that's the solid brown and that's your ground and it goes to all the negatives on all the on all three lights okay once you have the ground in and by the way 
that's for all the lights. All the lights get the same ground. Uh, uh, the negative goes and you put the ground in the same way for, for it doesn't matter what number it is. Um, then for like light one and light three, um, I'll start with the blue and white. Let's see if I can find my blue and white. The blue and white wire, then, that's not blue and white. Here we go. Nope, that's brown and white. There we go. Here it is. The blue and white wire. Then uh, for the preview light, whatever color. You know, you don't have to use my colors. You just got to remember what you what you set up. But for the yellow, uh, my preview light's yellow. For the preview light, that would be the on cam on tally light number one and number four. The preview light, uh, the blue and white goes to that. So you would take the positive side of the yellow light. And you would solder to that, the blue wire to that, and then you come over here, and you see, and you're, remember, you're always using this bottom, which is B. It's B, and you, you come over here, and the blue, solid blue goes into this, into this pin right here. Um, the solid blue goes into there, and then you, you um, punch it down into there, and to the yellow light, so that that wires the positive to the yellow light. And then for the green, and remember the green and the red, uh, when it's live, it's on, on on both sides. The green and red actually are operating off the same line. The green and the red, you take the positive green, or the one with the resistors on it, is the positives, and you, you solder them to this blue solid blue wire, both the red and the green. It's soldered to this, and then you bring you come over here and you punch it down into the solid blue okay so you put did i tell you the blue and white goes into this white one right here this very first one uh, for the yellow light and then the blue goes into the second one right here um just just go by the colors um this one has white on it and then the next one is blue solid blue so the blue the blue and white goes in the very first one and the blue goes in the second one I think I told you just the opposite when I was talking about the yellow light. So that's how you do the blue. You do the same. It's the same principle with the orange and orange and white. The brown goes to all the negatives. You take the yellow light, which is your preview light or whatever color you make the preview light. You take the the white and orange. You put it. You solder it to the. You solder it to the positive, and you bring the white and uh, the white and uh, orange, and you come over here to this number to this number two because that's white and orange right there you come in and you you put it in that that number two right there and you punch it down into there and you're good to go that got then you do with the green and the red the positives go to the solid orange you bring it over here and you put it on this very this very end one because that's the solid orange can you see that that's the solid orange right there and you put it in that you put it in this very edge right here. You punch it down with your punch down tool, and that one's ready to go. Same way with the with uh, the gr the greens. You find your green and white. That's a green and white and a solid green. And you you deal with the greens. You deal with the same way. You take the green and white, yellow light, solder it to your resistor, which is the positives, and you you take your green and white, and your green and white would go right. This is green and white right here, so it goes in this very first one right here. So that's where you would put it, and then um, and then the, the green one goes on the green and on the red positive and the green positive. Solid green one goes in, and you find the B here, and you put the green one in right there. And so that's how you wire it. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's not it's not real complex and I really like the way this has turned out. I hope this has helped you. And if you like this, um, be sure to hit like. Um, if you really like this, I certainly appreciate you subscribing to our channel. And um, thanks for tuning in.